Welcome back, Duelists. I'm Helix101. Today we're going to take advantage of the special duels that are going on for a little bit longer, and we're going to see how far we can get climbing the ranks using the Spirit Deck that I showcased a few episodes back. I will be showcasing two new decks that I've been working on. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Actually, it's, I think, three decks that I've been working on. And once I get that all sorted out and I get the cards that I need, then I will look into doing some tutorials because they look like fun decks and I'm going to try them in ranked PvP at that time. For now, we're just going to continue using our Spirit deck. Uh, now that I've been getting a little bit further into the special duels, I realize that everyone is just trying to just decimate people uh, using beatdown decks and crazy combinations. And it's a little bit tougher to use the deck that I created because you don't get that starting mountain boost. As you can see, I did have a, a bit of luck with this deck and I'm just gonna hopefully keep climbing before this event is over. So how's everybody doing today? <laughs> oh, I'm actually recovering from a cold that I had gotten a few days ago and it's still a little bit rough in the throat, but... Alright, so we're facing a Mako Tsunami. I did manage to face one Mako that was still trying to do the Umi Daedalus combo in Special Duels, which is very interesting since they don't start with Umi on the field. They did in fact manage to beat me, and it was a little disappointing. I wish that we didn't get Exodia cards in this Special Duel. Uh, I mean, I know that that's the part of the event, but I would really like to see... Oh god, we got nothing. Okay, so this is what I like to do when this happens. Since I'm getting Exodia pieces and I don't want them, I'm just going to use them to block my defenses a little bit. I will hold off on using any of my spirit cards first. Now the question is, what does he have here? Could this be golden apples? It's probably golden apples considering he didn't put anything else in the field. So I'm going to attack with the Naba White Rabbit and see what he does. Ooh, two cards face down. Alright. So let's try and do it this way. I'm gonna poke at him a little bit, poke at his life points, just to make sure that anything over here is not something that I should be worried about. I'm not gonna bother flipping that, I'll just keep that in defense to keep a little bit of a wall between me and my own life points. Uh, what do you got? Rebo? It's, it's enemy controller, okay. So, again, another reason why I really like Inaba White Rabbit. You can use Inaba White Rabbit to basically get rid of a lot of their cards like enemy controller and chances are he has a secondary one because a lot of people grab the second enemy controller when that the KC Cup event finished. I didn't actually if uh, you guys want to know what card I picked for my SR Prismatic I actually still want to get more recruiters for my Gravekeeper deck and it hasn't been working out too well. Now chances are it's probably another enemy controller. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet some money and say that that is another enemy controller. Let's try to poke again, see if he has any traps up his sleeve. Anything? Another enemy controller? Yes, no, maybe sometimes. You have something, just use it dude. Yeah, okay, so Sphere Karibo, okay, we got rid of Sphere Karibo and enemy controller, that's good. It's fine. It's giving me a chance to build my cards up. He's only got one on the, f on one on his hand. He's got a few in the field. I'm still curious what he's trying to build here. I wonder if this is an actual Umi deck. And if that's the case, then I'm gonna need Mystic Box. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna place down a Golden Apples just in case, and I'm gonna continue poking. Oops, that's not the poke that I want. I'm gonna continue poking. Now, uh, let's see, does this guy have another Sphere Karibo or enemy controller? And the crowd says, no, you don't. I'm gonna keep doing this until you attack me, bruh. Another reason why I want to kind of bait him into attacking is that so he can flip one of these cards up, try to attack my stupid Exodia leg or arm, and then that way I can use like Azura Priest to inflict damage. I really hope that he does try to attack because I have Golden Apples. He's got a full field. I wish I had some other cards to stop that. <laughs> but that's okay. Now this might look like a boring tactic, but it's pretty smart. I'm gonna force his hand. I'm gonna keep trying to force him to use his monster... Sorry, his trap cards or spell cards. He has something, considering the fact that it's doing that. Come on! Mirror wall? Is it mirror wall? 
Is that enemy controller? Enemy controller number two! And it's not prismatic, so maybe... Maybe he has three of them in this deck. There's a good chance he probably has three. I don't think he's stalling to summon Exodia. I'm gonna get rid of... Let's get rid of Shinobird Crane, just in case he thinks that I'm trying to build Exodia since I have so many cards in my hand. Does he have a third E-Controller, or does he have... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh! All right. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's fine. I'll let him attack 200 life points. No, that's fine. I'll make it look like I didn't have anything. I'll save that for Dynamis to actually attack me. Hmm. This might work out well. I'll place another... Golden Apples on the field. I'm gonna inflict a little bit more damage. Unless he has something like Windstorm of Itaqua, or... He's got something. He's got something. What does he have? Okay, order to charge, that's fine. Get rid of this. I, wait, yeah, get rid of that. Okay, that's fine. So, at least I still have one Shinobird Crane. And now he's gonna have to attack me. Now the question is, how is he gonna attack? So he's got order to charge, he's got two E-Controllers, he's got a Sphere Karibo. It's a pretty cancerous deck that I'm facing right now. Ooh, okay. Let's pop one of those Golden Apples. Yay, this is perfect. Okay, so now I got a wall. Does he have something here? Okay. Alright, so now it's gonna let me... Oh, come on, give me power spot! I need power spot! I just spit a lot. I don't have anything to defeat his Dunamis Witch yet until I can get Shinobird power spot. And then once I do, then it'll start helping. I'm just gonna keep whittling away at his health points. His life points, I don't know why I said health points, this is not... I guess it's kind of like an RPG, but it's not quite an RPG game. I'm gonna stop talking and focus on the match. Now, if there's anything you guys would like to see too while I do content for the channel, again, this one I just wanted to do a quick exhibition of my spirit deck again in the spirit special duels. Uh, but let me know in the comments below, I love chatting with you guys and seeing what kind of tips and tricks you guys have suggested for me. Okay, that is no good. That sucks. Okay, so I'll keep this. Oh wow, so he had a few normal monsters and a twister. So that's kind of good, he got rid of that. So that means that if I can get Shinobird Power Spot. Oh, come on. Why you do this game? No, I'm not gonna bait that, I can't, I can't risk that. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of his Dunamis Dark Witch. Because I ain't need none of that. And bring it back. Alright, so now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I really need Power Spot. I have 13 cards left and I've been getting a lot of really crappy pulls. This is not how I want things to go with the Spirit Match when I'm trying to use my Spirit cards. I need Power Spot so that I can boost my Spirit Monsters. Okay, he's blocking. Oh, come on, game. Maybe I'll do this. This might be a bad idea. Mm. Okay, so he's gonna pull an Exodia piece now. I could have tried to attack, but that's not good. He's gonna... Oh, good. He's gonna get rid of... Let's see, what's he gonna get rid of? Yep. Alright, so that's okay, because now I have another card for Golden Apples. Oh, Warrior Dig. Dig Raffer, okay. Alright, what are the odds that he has another Do Not Miss Dark Witch? Get rid of this stupid beast. Oh, God. Can I last long enough to survive, is the question. Alright, attack me, please. Please attack me. He's gonna get rid of some cards. What are you getting rid of? Exodia, so he's not worried about Exodia. Okay, if I could get... Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right, another golden apple. Sorry, buddy. Okay. I really need a power spot, come on! Huh. This is not looking good. I'm gonna put another Exodia piece in the fence. I have not many options right now. This might have to try to be delayed as much as possible to be a deck out. Yeah, get rid of my Exodia. Oh, power spot, please! Yes! Yeah, it's still not enough to destroy him. But I can do this. Maybe I can bait him into attacking. If I can bait him into attacking, and just keep delaying this, then this is just gonna be it. I'm gonna fortify my defenses, because he has Wonder Balloons. I don't have anything to dispel that. Yes, please, keep getting rid of your cards. Wow, he had another Wonder Balloons. Yes, this is how I'm going to cheese it. I'm going to cheese it this way. Now that I have that going... Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Yep, I'm just going to cheese it. Oh, this is interesting. So, I pretty much am a little bit screwed here, and if I could delay it for nine more turns, then I can win this. This might have been a good round to try to save the Exodia pieces, considering that I'm, in a, I'm basically a lockout right now. Okay, so... If I do this... So he's got... Four, so that's 1,200. So, let's see, so... Minus 300. So I might be able to attack him right now, let's see. Yeah, sweet, okay. Whatever. This might have to happen. <sighs> oh my god, this is so stupid. This guy's probably like, what the hell is happening here? And trust me, I know. It's bad. <laughs> it is very cheese. But that's okay. Are you gonna use another? Yep. He's like, okay, he's gonna keep whittling my health down now. <laughs> Wow, okay, so he really doesn't want me to attack at all. <laughs> Alright. This is just what's gonna have to happen now. I don't think he has anything else. Unless he can have another E-Controller. Let's see what he does. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> what does he have here? is the question. I'm not even gonna risk it, there's no point in risking it. I can just delay this for as long as possible and I should be okay, theoretically. And maybe I might make him surrender because he knows that he basically put himself into a wall since he can't destroy my monsters now. He does- he got rid of Twister. I doubt that he has a second Twister. He's gotten rid of two E-Controllers. He might have a third one, which he might be able to take control of something, yeah. <laughs> this is just stupid. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. I'm curious, if I do this... <laughs> yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> I'm gonna make that return back to my hand. <laughs> Wait, no, shit, I should have done that. No, I might have f***ed myself over. I f***ed myself over, guys. Oh no, why did I do that? Now, what that means is that I'm one card less than he has. Oh, f Why did I do that? That was stupid. Oh, that was so stupid. Literally no point in doing that. Oh, God, I, I feel like I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I could have won this one. I could have won this one. You could have won this! You could have won that! Do you not understand how- oh my god. Oh my god, okay. 
that was not supposed to go that way. I don't know what happened there. I think the guy just got bored and decided, you know what? He delayed it for this long. I'm just going to give him the win because bravo, good sir. You managed to just delay this on for so long that I don't care about losing anymore. All right, so now we got a band of Keith. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to cut out like most of- Like, when, when you see me talking right now, most of the match that you saw in the previous round is probably gonna be edited out. Why do you keep giving me Exodia pieces? I don't want to build Exodia. I, I really hope that after this, this event is done, uh, Konami decides to release an event that allows you to duel people without skills, but without having to worry about Exodia cards clogging up your deck. Like, this just sucks. Like. I don't want to have these cards. What's he gonna do? Summon... Please summon... Thunder Dragon. Is that what it's called? Two-headed Thunder Dragon. Oh, is that a Golden Apples? Oh, God! Okay, so maybe in this case I should probably stall. Should I stall and try and go for... What is this? Let's see. If it is... If it is Golden Apples, he's only going to get a thousand. Yeah, it's going to be only like a thousand. Enemy controller. Wow, okay, what a waste. All right, good. Whatever. As long as we can get rid of that early on, then I'm happy. All right. Return back to my hand. Oh, please summon something awesome that has so much life points, or sorry, attack, that I can just put up a giant wall and you can never attack me ever again. That would be awesome. And even boost it, please. Do you have polymer a polymerization? No. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do this. Unless he has a sphere Karibo. And if he does, then it's not a big deal, whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, you do not have a sphere Karibo. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep cheesing it for as long as possible until he does something. Is he trying to summon Exodia? Okay, so he's putting up a wall. Power spot? Nope. Okay. Let's do this then. You can put up a wall, but it's not gonna stop me. This is what I love about the spirit cards. You can really do some annoying shit with these cards. And it might look a little cheesy, but they're worried about what this card is. <laughs> they probably know that it's golden apples. What's this? Oh, Wonder Balloons! Why? No! Not again! Not this hell again! <laughs> 16, 18. Okay, I could probably stall. Are you gonna get rid of cards? One, two... Okay. Power spot? Oh, god. So that's 600 off. Whatever. I'm gonna have to keep doing this. Hopefully I can get power spot really quick, that'd be awesome. If I can get Power Spot, what should I get rid of? You know what? I'm gonna get rid of Shinobur Crane. Power Spot, please. Please, 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 next turn. Okay, get, do that, right. Am I gonna have to stall again? I hate how- wow. He- oh, he was a Relinquish deck! That is funny. That is too good. I have anything probably yeah yay I still can damage him <laughs> you're gonna keep waiting I'm gonna keep attacking he's gonna keep getting rid of it if I could get another power spot on the map that'd be fantastic that would be amazing actually <laughs> I'm not gonna bother attacking this card because let's see is he gonna get rid of two of them <laughs> this is so funny oh he's not get okay so he's not worrying about Exodia anymore can I get another Exodia piece that'd be awesome can I do this? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna place him in the fence. And just wait it out. Let's see what he does. I'm waiting for him to start getting desperate and attacking. Okay, get rid of cards. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is too funny. Oh, wow. Am I gonna be able to build Exodia for this match? <laughs> I'm not even trying right now. Alright, let's... This is too good. I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm not even gonna bother trying to destroy monsters at this point. It's not gonna work. 
I'm not gonna be able to dispel that. I, I really wonder... Okay, he's summoning a monster and attack. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay. Oh, please let it be the last piece of Exodia. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I was gonna say, F*** you, buddy! Oh my god, that is amazing! <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do an Exodia run this game. <laughs> oh, that is satisfying. That is so satisfying! Oh, not bad. I am quite content with that win. <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh, that was mwah, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's hopefully not run into anyone else that has Wonder Balloons. Oh, he's probably so pissed off right now. He's probably so pissed off right now. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one more match. Hopefully it's not another Wonder Balloons show where I have to delay things again, but I'm hoping that I get something good this time. I want to show you guys that I can actually win viably with using these decks. I have been winning with them, not by cheesing it this way. <laughs> I have a few spirit monsters and make you the magical mist. The question is, what kind of person are we dealing with now? Are they a beatdown deck? Are they trying to summon Exodia? These are the questions that go through my mind. That's probably golden apples. Okay. If it's golden apples... You know what, let's do this. Let's not worry about Exodia. I'm just gonna play it this way. I'm not- I'm not gonna bother using- actually, no, shit. he has a lot more cards than I do. He's got a lot more cards than I do, so that means that I can't win by cheesing. What is he gonna attack with? Okay. And another card. Probably... Order to Charge. Considering that he's got a Jerry Beans man. Power spot, please. Power spot would be just swell. Okay. I can probably pull a mirror this way, but again, I have a guarantee that one of these cards is order to charge. Summon another monster. I'm gonna take some life point damage here. Let's get that. If I could get a power spot right now, that'd be so fantastic. These rounds, I've not been getting it early. I need to get that card early. <laughs> so, level 4, so he's gonna get 400, so that means that I could technically still do a make you combo. Okay, there we go. So let's put power spot on. Let's put Sousa Soldier. Let's put Mirror of Yada. I may regret this. He might, again, he might have order to charge. And I'm gonna use Make You the Magical Mist. Because it's so satisfying. Oh, it's probably gonna be Mitchazur. Mitchazur? 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 Mitchazur. Oh, I saw that coming a mile away and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Okay. Alright. That's fine, at least I got rid of one of his stronger cards, unless he has Dynamis Dark Witch, which I... <laughs> I guarantee he probably does. Okay! That was not good. And this is not good. I need another mirror. Huh. What can I do here? I can delay a little bit. I have to delay, that's the only thing I could do. Because right now, he tries to attack me. He gets 500 attacks, so he's not gonna be able to do anything. He's gonna take some damage. I'm gonna summon another monster. Okay, some beaters. Alright. Attack me, please. And now he can't attack me. You're gonna really try to do that? Okay. 
So now I can keep blocking until I get some cards that I can use. Ooh. If I can get Asura Priest, that'd be awesome. That's all I could keep doing for now. Unless he has something that can stop me and destroy this card, I can keep blocking until I can pull like an Azura Priest and then just wipe their field. Because now I have an extra thousand attack that can go on Azura Priest. I'm not gonna tr I'm, I hope he doesn't try to attack me because then I can use Shinobird Crane to... Let's see, he's gonna summon another monster, what are you gonna summon? Okay, so he's nothing but a beatdown deck. He's a beatdown deck. You know that's such a bad idea, it's not gonna help you out, dude. Please, keep attacking me. Go on, try. Please. Keep trying to attack me. Keep trying to attack me. Are you gonna keep learning your lesson by ramming yourself into a brick wall? Oh, come on, Shinobird Crane. I need something better than you. I need Azura Priest. Hopefully he doesn't keep trying to attack me. Maybe he is trying to pull a card that's gonna help him out here. I don't know what card that could be. He ends his turn. Okay, good. Here we go. Ooh, even better. Ho, 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 I like. Maybe he does have Order to Charge. Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? Oh, that's satisfying. I'm going to end my turn there. And now I have a wall. He's not going to be able to attack me, and I can keep attacking with Inaba White Rabbit. Unless he pulls Wonder Balloons. Freaking Wonder Balloons? Again? No. <laughs> it's not gonna happen this time. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? This is not helping you out, dude. <laughs> this is not helping you at all. <laughs> You're gonna keep destroying yourself. <laughs> Azura? No. Okay. I'm gonna keep blocking just for now, because... If he has something here that can stop me... Actually, I might have been able to destroy him if I had used Inaba White Rabbit there. Do you have something? He's gonna end his turn! Can I win this round? Can I just do this and win, please? That'd be awesome! Yep! And that's the game! So... You have to be able to manage your field. If you're not getting the cards you need, build a wall. They can't attack you. They literally can't attack through Sousa Soldier, because then they're just gonna keep taking life point damage. So that's the power of the spirit cards. You just have to take your time with the moves. Like, you can't just rush it. I could have probably done more if I had Azura Priest pulled. And if I had, then I could have hopefully wiped their field, unless that was Mirror Wall that they had there. But yay, we got to rank three! Yay! All right, not bad. Three, three victories on camera, that's, I'll take it, I'll take what I can get after those, those first two rounds were just horrible. I, I'm glad I was able to kind of show you guys how good and viable the spirit cards can still be, and I know it, it might seem a little bit cheesy, but they didn't have anything to counter, they didn't have anything to counter my wall. The first game should have been a loss, but I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna accept it, and move on with my life. <laughs> Please remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and also remember to subscribe so you can be notified whenever new Yu-Gi-Oh! content does come out on the channel. As well, remember to check out my good friend Darman's page. He's got an amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links page. Very awesome guy. His link is in the description below. And I'll see you all on the next level.